Hello, welcome to Revelator John. How is the torque effect on a helicopter overcome? Well, quite simply, uh, the, the torque effect is where the fuselage will want to turn in the opposite direction to the um, main rotor uh, rotation direction. Uh, so unless there is some way to overcome that uh, rotation, then the uh, fuselage will just spin out of control so we have a rear um, thrust producing assembly, if you like, at the rear of the aircraft, uh, along a tail boom usually, uh, and that is uh, in the form of a tail rotor, um, which can produce rotor thrust to varying degrees in whichever direction. So we have the fuselage body, and the fuselage body then has a tail boom pointing out and then you have a, ro a tail rotor at the end and that will produce thrust left or right or whichever direction uh, to varying degrees and that will push and pull the fuselage in a direction to overcome its natural tendency to be able to want to rotate. So the tail rotor assembly will actually enable the pilot uh, to control the amount of thrust uh, produced by the tail rotor with the yaw pedals and that will be able to maintain the direction of the helicopter in flight. Now it's not always a tail rotor, there are um, various designs uh, which are anti-torque systems. So you can have a tail rotor blade assembly um, so what uh, two blades three blades four five blades it really depends on the design of the aircraft or design of the helicopter then we can have the uh, notar system which is essentially the tail boom that comes out of the uh, towards the rear of the aircraft and at the end there is a rotating cylinder uh, opening uh, which allows uh, air to be blown out uh, at the rear there uh, which can uh, be pointed in a particular direction, which can create thrust left or right to control that uh, anti-torque, or sorry, that torque effect. Uh, we can also have uh, other systems, let's say, which are considered uh, similar to tail rotor systems, but they are enclosed within a shroud um, made up of uh, lots of smaller blades. And this is called a fenestron system or a shrouded system. Um, so there are varying benefits of each particular system, uh, varying noise signatures as well. So it really depends on the application and the model of the aircraft, uh, which one is preferred, and also depending on the design of the aircraft as well. But that is how the torque effect on the helicopter is overcome. It is by the anti-torque uh, system of the helicopter, which can be in the form of a tail rotor, a fenestron system, a shrouded uh, system, uh, or a uh, no-tar system. Thank you.